Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. I'm sure most of you know that already, but if anyone's new, I just wanted to say hi. Um, yeah, it's always a vlog. <laughs> it's always a truthful vlog about reselling. No BS, everything is out there. So, I'm an advocate for being truthful about what it's like. Don't know what today is going to bring. This again, I am shooting this part first, which I don't always do, as I say. I'm even truthful about that. <laughs> Videos can be edited together, but I'm hoping I'll have some good stuff to show you. So bear with it. The title will say it all because the title will be primarily what the video is centered on. So we'll see what happens today. Anyway, if you have any questions or there's anything that you'd like me to cover in a future video, stick it in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I think all that's left to say is, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to talk about these again. As you can see, it's near enough of flying already. I still haven't fixed this. I need to fix it. It's going to fall over. Um, right, so in my video where I talked about tax returns and how I'd got a better filing solution, um, I've had some comments, of course, as you always do. Um, sometimes I don't explain things properly, so it's my own fault. But basically, I was saying that this is going to be our filing system for the whole year. Now, when I say things sometimes, I don't mean them as I say them. I don't mean that I am going to squeeze all of our tax files in here for the whole year. What I mean is when one of these folders gets full, so say this post one here, it's getting quite full now. When it starts to get full where it's like going to break, I am going to take all this out. I am going to tally it all up. And then I'm going to put a piece of paper back into this folder telling me my tally and I am going to file these away in a paper envelope so I know where they are. I've got somewhere where I keep all the year's tax stuff normally. So whenever these get full, that's what I'm going to do. So it's not going to be a case of, oh, well, you know, Julie can fit all her tax um, sheets in that for the year. So that means, you know, she's either not doing very well or she hasn't got, you know, she's absolutely delusional which could be the case but <laughs> who knows um it, it is literally trial and error as i did say in the video it's a new system and we're going to see how it goes and i do understand that these are going to get full so that's what i'm going to do just so you are aware so basically by the end of the year i'm hoping this will be full of a lot of pieces of paper saying numbers on that I can just add together which will make things a lot easier for me some of these not so much like the refunds what the refunds one I'm hoping won't have a lot in <laughs> we'll see I mean as you know you get a lot of cancellations where you have to refund you get um returns where you have to refund so it could be quite full but yeah, I will, I'll keep you posted on it. But so far, it's working. I haven't had to um, empty anything just yet. So all is good. And yeah, just wanted to clear that up because um, I get comments sometimes and I think, oh, I really haven't explained that properly. If people think that I'm either A, dumb enough to think that I'm going to get all of our tax in this small folder when it's all ready to capacity, near enough, or that I'm lying, which, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I am not filling this with paper for fun. And I do understand that um, we are only in June and some of them are nearly full already. But yeah, like I say, I will tally all the numbers and then I will put a piece of paper back in here. Probably just an A4 piece and write at the top um, the dates or whatever, or first batch, and then I'll put the number. So then eventually, hopefully, I'll just have a sheet full of numbers that all I need to do is add up at the end of the year. That is the dream, people. That is the dream. <laughs> important thing to remember, also, when you're doing your tax, is as a self-employed person who works from home, you can take a percentage of your phone bill, your internet, gas and electric, um, rent even, so look into those percentages. We 
have done our tax returns as in our paperwork but because of the cost of living crisis and everything going up we need to recalculate what we would normally put on so that is what we're going to be doing today but yeah look into what you can take off because you could be doing yourself an injustice and paying tax when you don't really need to because there are a lot of things that you can take off when you work from your own property so yeah bear that in mind peeps have a look um i didn't actually mention that in the last video either i had some a lovely lady messaged me about it you do know you can do this and i was like yes i do i should have put that in i do apologize but i think all of you will know that let me know if you didn't in the comments let me know if you did in the comments and yeah i don't always remember to say everything i just assume that you are clever people because you are and you know what you're doing um but yeah we're gonna do that today and paperwork gives me a headache so i've got painkillers ready to go <laughs> hey. sales to show you all <laughs> we haven't done bad we have not done bad to this weekend to be fair it was a bit sketchy for a while i was a bit worried but not anymore okay so i'll go straight into it these are my two etsy sales this tropical bar sign i think i've had it about six months um, I bought two from the charity shops. I think they were like £4.50 each. Um, and I have sold this on Etsy for £31.75 with postage included. So all in. Um, really happy with that. It was definitely worth holding out for. And not a lot of storage room either. So always happy. These little cats. There's a little cat band here. Now these are out of the bundle I got off Sophie. Um... £30 I paid for the whole lot and these when I google lens them and search them I could not find a thing there was nothing so I literally had to just go with my gut on pricing and I have sold these on Etsy for I think it was £23.50 all in so with postage um really really happy with that I had them listed on eBay as well but there wasn't much interest on there but yeah, Etsy for the win on both of these. Very happy. These cats are all of the bits and bobs that I had left over from the same bundle as these. Um, and basically, I Google lens them. Couldn't find anything. So I just thought, you know what? I will put them all in a bundle and see what happens. Um, so I put them on auction and they went for 4 99 plus postage. You know, cat grumble. It's basically a load of stuff that I didn't know what to do with so happy happy to get five pound back for those where's wally outfit bought this from the car boot the last one i went to paid a pound and that has gone for 12 pound plus postage it's the um wenda costume in a size small if you're interested um this is a joseph ribkoff dress haven't had this long at all probably a few weeks um size 10 um, it's lovely, really nice. Got this detailing around the collar. That went for 25 plus postage. Now, I'm sat here absolutely boiling and thinking, are people crazy? Because I've sold two coats. This Laura Ashley one, um, I bought this again just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think it was about £4.50 if I remember rightly. It's on my video anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. Um sold for 20 pound plus postage and this jewels coat as well um i've had this one a lot longer i've had this about 85 years i don't know i don't know how long i've had it it's been quite a while though size 14 jewels coat again 20 pound plus postage right, now we're going on to rob's stuff so um he sold this nike hoodie this is a medium um long sleeved nike hoodie with the tick on the front 16.99 plus postage and it's gone gsp Right, let me find these. These are Masters of the Universe and She-Ra books. Where's the other one? I was going to say, there should be three. There they are. Um, bought these ages ago. Really cheap. Um, they've gone for £4 plus postage. Um, didn't really have much interest, which I'm shocked about. But, you know, this these sort of things happen. Um, these Bailey's Quarter Zip. Um, jumpers, sweatshirts, they are actually packed up. 
these are hang on i will see if i can get a picture up for you so i can show you them these are the ones that are given to us weren't they yeah so these were given to us by my mother-in-law's boyfriend there they are in all their glory yeah so um we packed these up when we were listing them and they have gone for £35 plus postage. So obviously not taking fees into consideration. That is full profit. So they're going together. Then we saw these. I did a video on these not that long ago. These gorgeous vintage Levi cards. Um, they've sold £60 plus postage. Very happy with that. Not long either. A couple of weeks again. Um... Right, what else we got here? This belt. This belt has gone. Um, this has gone for £22 plus postage. It's very heavy. That's gone to a doctor, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got a Hackett suit jacket, which is here. Um, this has gone for £70 plus postage. I will never for the life of me understand how things like this get that much money. I really won't. But there you go. And then we've got this suit jacket. This is a Yugo Boss suit jacket. Again, £50 for that. £50 for a suit jacket. It's crazy. But you men, you like your labels, don't you? That's all I can say. Oh, that's just going to fall now. So I need to fold that up again and get that sorted. But yeah, um, that is the sales. Let me know what you think in the comments. How have your sales been going? What's the best sale you have had over the weekend? Let me know in the comments. Let's see who's had what. I'm interested. Right, taking Pamela to the parcel shop. A chocker. I've managed to get them all done anyway. And it's a beautiful day. So hopefully we're going to get to look around some charity shops in Square today if we've got time. If we do have time, you will see the footage. <laughs> go have a look in here. See if we can find anything. Have a look in the window first, as always. Let's see if the prices have come down as well. Penguin slippers. Let's go have a look. You see me in the window. <laughs> Beautiful day here. So I got one thing from in there and Rob got one thing. So I'm now going to go over to Dove House. I will meet Rob there. We'll go and see what we can get. Oh, it's so nice. Could do with it cooling down a bit there on the bit. A bit on the sweaty side, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, one thing, two things if you include Rob's. So we'll go see what we can find the next one. Good job I remember to put my sun cream on today. <laughs> Anyway, we're going now into here, which we haven't been in for quite a while. We're trying to be very strict. Yeah. Let's have a look in the window. We always have loads of pictures. Yes, Father's Day, 18th of June. I've got it on my radar, it's all good. Right, let's go see what we can find. We're gonna have a look in here now. Um, a few pans and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we have a watering can. Let's see what they've got. I actually have a bit of piece in the house to show you what I picked up yesterday. I mean, it's not groundbreaking stuff, but it's okay. Um, this is actually one of the things that Rob picked up and realised it was women's when we got it home. It's a OM or O M M, um, like a cycling top. I think these are worth about £15. We paid £4.50. So, yeah, we should be okay with that. Um, this is a new brand for me, but Rob has picked it up in men's before. Bolangaro Trevor. Um, it's pretty good. Look it up. £3.75 for a size medium blouse. Now, as far as I can work out, this is women's. It shows me that it's women's in so many ways, but it might end up being a man's. To be fair, in these sort of brands men's tend to be more expensive don't know why that is but yeah um 
I did a few comps and I think I should easily be able to get 35 for this, maybe even a little bit more. So as I always say, if you want to be nosy and see what I'm listing things for or what Rob is listing things for, um, you can follow our shops and the link is on my channel. Um, I am showing Rob stuff today because, well, it's all up there, look, ready to go. And um, it's too sorry about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my filming is not great yeah um he's put everything up there what he bought anyway so and he's took all the labels off so i thought i won't go through all it's all clothing and i know a lot of you get bored with it but he's got a few th cool things he's got a few coats which will bring me to my stuff in a minute um yeah coats are selling which is bizarre there we go that's better okay now we'll go over here so i picked up this is it jo joey 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 i don't know how well she'd say that um probably really nice in the you know language of the country that it's been made <laughs> not in a yorkshire accent like me but yeah 7.99 for this um i've seen this brand before it's a dress um it's pretty it's very like schmock looks like a doll's dress really cute lovely patterns brand new with tags um I need to do some research, but it looked good when I picked it up. It's a size medium. I hate it when women's clothes have that on them because you never know what it means. Medium means different in so many different brands to me. As a woman, I think we're all shaped differently, aren't we? And a medium to someone else is not a medium to someone else and it's it's crazy so i can't stand this but then again it's the same with the 10s 12s and 14s so you can't really win um but then you know who can win with a, with a woman <laughs> i know no one can win with me that is one sure fire fact that i'm honest about okay um 575 for this size 14 lead brick barbara lead brick wool coat um yeah the comps aren't brilliant on this but then are they gonna be this time of year i thought for 575 i'm gonna pick it up it's a good brand um it's a nice coat it's in good condition don't think there's any marks on it. <laughs> um, fully lined. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, yeah, I can't even guess how much I'm going to put that on for. This may sell now because, you know, some people are cold. I, I, I can't get over it. I really can't. I am absolutely boiling all the time at the minute. But yeah, people are buying coats. Um, and in the UK as well, I will add. They aren't going anywhere else. But this is a size. 14 um yeah it's a nice coat it has got a couple of you know like the moth bits out of it but that's to be expected you get that with all the wool coats as long as i disclose it it's not a problem okay i picked these up and um, this is a vintage tablecloth with some vintage napkins i don't know how many there are i'm sure there's six one two three four five six yeah and this lovely vintage tablecloth. Um, only paid a couple of pounds for that. So yeah, I'll 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 be happy if I get twelve to fifteen. It's nice. It's different. I like stuff like this because yeah, they can go pretty quick tablecloths. This curse and similar songs oh. on Amazon Music. Right, hang on, my Alexa. Don't you love it when Alexa starts and uh, tries to copyright your video? didn't even say her name i don't know why it started then that was weird um and rob has not taken his headphones so it's not him connected to it <clears throat> alexa's are bizarre that's all i can say and i've got to stop saying her name otherwise she'll set off again okay i swore off these i know i did <laughs> there you go so my little pony build a bear three pound fifty the reason i bought this number one She's in great condition. Number two, I hadn't seen her before. So I did the comps and number three, they're pretty good. Um, the only ones I could find were sold in the USA. So there's very few over here. And someone had paid 
getting on for £50. Doesn't mean I'm going to get that for this, but I think my £3.50 is safe. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's in lovely condition. Um, shame I ain't got any Builder Bear clothes left. That would have been brilliant, but never mind. To be fair, people that buy the ponies don't necessarily care whether it's dressed up like Snow White or not. Uh, yeah, um, she's called Cheery Lee, I believe, if I remember rightly. But yeah, that's a good find. Um, normally, I find the Rainbow Dashes and the Twilight Sparkles. And I don't buy them anymore because there's hundreds of them on eBay. I think I started that trend because... I used to buy them and bundle them up and get good money, as we know. But now, not so much. Can't, can't give them away now. But, um, yeah, this one should be a good one. And then I've got this. This is a... You'll laugh at this. It's called a Biddies. Biddies, item number 4490. Aging Ain't for Sissies. Westland Giftware, 2003. Um, figurine so basically it's this gorgeous silver fox on a motorbike with a spring underneath now we have had one of these before not this exact what the exact one but it was the same range and it went for 70 pound now i've done comps on this and i think the most it sold for is about 50 but I'm happy. Cost me a pound. I know it said two pound on the bottom before you all start. But it did cost me a pound. I got it half price. It is fantastic. I love these. They are so quirky. They obviously have a big following, hence the good prices. So if you see anything like this, always comp it. Because you never know. Something that you think looks like tacky bric-a-brac sometimes can be an expensive collectible. Story time again. So I did have this gorgeous bohemian glass. I'm going to show you a picture of it now. The picture quality isn't great because it's one that I actually took in a charity shop. Anyway, I bought it and I brought it home and it was wrapped in the Barbara Lebrick coat. And I said to Rob, watch out when you take the clothes out of the trolley because he was getting his stuff out too book it all up and list it be careful because i've got the bohemian glass wrapped up in there yeah 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 yeah. he's busy doesn't listen next thing i hear smash so the glass has died but like i said to him <laughs> i owed him one because I smashed a cup that he bought not that long ago, doing exactly the same thing. But to be fair, I didn't tell him, be careful. Oh, no, he didn't tell me, be careful. But to be fair, I should have known because I'd done it. Oh, man. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. But there you go. These things happen. <laughs> Got another story to tell you all. This one's really annoying. So, I had a refund, uh, return request yesterday on a My Little Pony Generation 1 from 1984. And the pony is pictured with hair cut here. Um, I haven't stated it in the description, so I'm in trouble. She gets the pony. She paid £7.50 for it. She wants to return it as item not as described. <sighs> I am in the wrong, I know I am, but it's so annoying. I'm going to get a nine, I'm going to get a, an item not as described mark on my account for the sake of a £7.50 order. Like I said to Rob, the outcome would have been very different if I'd have got a message first stating I'm not happy with this. I would have been like, I'm so sorry, here's your refund. And I wouldn't have bothered her with sending it back. I'd have let her keep it. But the fact that she's just gone straight in with a return request with an item not as described case saying that basically I didn't describe it properly, which I didn't. I'm not going to say I didn't. Um, Yeah, she's sending it back anyway. I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut off my nose to swipe my face and I'm going to get it back and I'm going to list it properly this time and see if it goes again. But I'm also going to put my price up to cover the, co cover the cost of the postage that I've lost. <sighs> see these things still happen 
it hasn't happened to me in such a long time and i think that's why it's annoyed me the most number one i've missed something number two i've got an item not as described mark and number three it's over a seven pound fifty order <laughs> can't script it honestly <laughs> anyway after that rant i'm gonna leave you in peace Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You're amazing. The support you show me is phenomenal and I will never forget it. I absolutely love you guys. You are fantastic. Keep writing comments. Let me know what you think to the videos. Let me know if there's anything you want me to cover. Let me know if you've got any questions and I will see you all on the next one. Take care. Be kind. Stay safe. Ta-ta.